Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about what are the options you have with Intune to manage. So when we look at from the Microsoft point of view, there are uh, standalone options. You have uh, clubbing with other products. You can manage the similar things what we are trying to do with with Intune. So let's uh, have a look on it. The first one would be the if you can see here uh, the tick mark one which is the first one uh, we consider this as the first option let's uh, consider this as the standalone Intune. So whatever we we have so far discussed that all can be possible with Intune standalone which is offering from the uh, Azure portal as a service. Now if you look at uh, if you are uh, trying to manage only the mobile devices you do have an option uh, to work with MDM uh, which is available built in in fact with the Microsoft Office 365 cloud services so from here also you can do a few of the options not everything what you can do from the Intune because uh, when we talk about here MTM we are specifically targeting about only Office 365 products and that too for the mobile uh, devices or uh, maybe the how you're going to access those office 365 applications that's where you are uh, more uh, focused and the second one uh, the third one uh, would be the uh, that is a hybrid option there was hybrid op option in fact uh, which is uh, where you have uh, you can manage your clients from SCCM that is on premises uh, clients can be managed with SCCM and also you are uh, if you have taken a subscription in tune so you would uh, set it up that uh, you're in tune in uh, hybrid mode so what happens is uh, such some things which you wanna manage for example mobile device management can be done from the uh, in tune with the combination of hybrid solution but unfortunately or fortunately uh, because uh, this solution is no more supported now uh, in fact from the August 14th 2018 they are uh, started you know uh, depreciating this feature but the good news is they have introduced some other features called co-management for SCCM so we'll talk on that but uh, let's complete this so I guess 14th 2018 so last year itself it has been uh, uh, depreciated this feature and they are set a target of 1902 onwards they're going to release a something new feature called co-management which is already available in SCCM now and we can work on that also in fact uh, they are completely removing from September 1st 2019 they fully re retired that means no other clients will receive the policies uh, from cloud services that is from Intune cloud so people who ever have taken the subscriptions as hybrid they are already started migrating to other other possible solutions either to the standalone with uh, uh, Intune or with the combination of co-management in this case that's how uh, they're gonna do it so what exactly co-management co-management is nothing but uh, you have a device here uh, it could be a your Mac device or it could be your uh, mobile device or whatever the device so from SCCM server there is an agent called SCCM client so that client agent will be on this device also uh, from Intune there is another agent will be inside that agent that means you are managing co-managing that means you are inviting into that device two different management capabilities so if uh, one of the feature is supported in, in from Intune uh, some features are not supported from SCSIM you will be getting benefited with the co-management there is also something called an SCSIM coexistence for the purpose of coexistence you can invite this uh, on that device not just the SCSIM agent you can also invite maybe AirWatch or some other products uh, to manage that mobile devices so either way uh, it's it's an altogether different topic but you need to understand because uh, sometimes what happens is when you're trying to walk with the Intune you might get into um, a state where uh, it it leads to some kind of inner confusion so that's basically the uh, complete lecture to clear how the infrastructure of the design works basically that's it so that you would be very clear what we are trying to learn if you can look at here in the uh, in this uh, 
slide in fact this is a standalone that means uh, whatever you're trying to manage from directly from the Microsoft Cloud um, you are managing um, all the devices it could be Android or could be iOS or could be a Windows devices or PCs and whereas the hybrid uh, configuration which was almost retired now uh, you would be normally have the SEC in between also in tune so in tune will um, take the configuration of mobile devices part and SCCM would take care of the on-premises machines in fact that's the other design what we are in you know, just now talk let's have a comparison between MTM for office 365 cloud as well as Microsoft Intune so if you can look at in this chart uh, which we have segregated for uh, feature wise inventory for mobile devices you can get it in the both the cases but uh, if, if you look at your application deployment with the MDM Office 365, you can't do it, but you can do it for only the Office related applications, not uh, anything extra application. For example, you want to distribute Adobe application uh, for your uh, standalone, uh, in, in the standalone case of Intune, or maybe if you're using a co-management, you want to distribute some of the applications. You can't do it with the MDM uh, Office 365 Cloud. Similarly, self-service company portal, uh, you don't have this option. You can't push the certificates, which we talked earlier, uh, like VPN profiles or Wi-Fi profiles or email uh, profiles. You can't do that. You can't uh, secure, uh, securely access the corporate information by using uh, mobile uh, mobile applications uh, within your business applications. Like you, you have these isolation when you're trying to, you know, trying to use your personal apps and you can't collaborate with uh, office applications so this is one of the you know greatest feature but this feature is not available with the MDM uh, office 365 that means uh, it it can't restrict basically okay uh, whereas with the Intune you can set the uh, policies uh, very well for the app protection and uh, app configuration so that the a secure uh, applications will stay within that isolated environment altogether and remote uh, device log you can't do it with the MDM Office 365 but you can do it with the Intune standalone case similarly you can manage secure PCs uh, with the cloud with no infrastructure because um, uh, for example if you want to take the remote support you can take the remote support with the integration of team viewer uh, which is a corporate or enterprise level agreement if you go for in tune with uh, team viewer setup but whereas with the MTM for office 365 you don't have these features these are the no cases let's have a look on yes cases also remove factory reset or full wipe this option is available in both the cases because we're talking about the device level and mobile device configuration setting a uh, pin length or pin requirement so there are you know, a few of the uh, configuration policies uh, which will um, configure for your complaints purpose for example a pin length or pin required for a specific apps that can be done within these two of this environment and also provides reporting on the device uh, that do not meet your IT security policies or compliances that can be done and root or uh, jailbreak detection can be done and you can apply the policies accordingly in fact you can remove the office 365 app data from mobile devices while leaving personal data and apps so uh, as we talk these MDM for office 365 is more focuses on only office 6 365 cloud related whatever the application say let's take um, Outlook or Word or maybe Excel or PowerPoint all these uh, comes under office 365 application so all these can be uh, you can wipe up you can install all that can be done you can prevent access to office 365 corporate email documents based on the device enrollment and complaints yes you can do that but when it comes to the other applications you uh, can't actually um, cross or you can't uh, isolate them uh, within the MDM for example other than the office 365 applications you can't isolate but whereas here you can do that for example you have a company application where uh, you're accessing some of the ERP web application so that web application data you can copy paste uh, or you can't control the copy paste uh, option uh, 
within the MDM for Office 365. Whereas with the Intune, you can do that. Even you can uh, say that these are the links only can be open with the Microsoft Edge or some other, you know, browser based on your customizations. All these are the things uh, which can be done with the Office 365, and few of them are. Uh, very well can be done from the Intune standalone or the co-management. These are the same things which also possible with the co-management uh, but here you don't see here but the co-management also works as it tees uh, like uh, how it works with the Intune the similar thing it can be done. Also you can take the advantage of the SCSM agent uh, to take to the next level that's where the future of uh, mobile device management uh, over the cloud these are the two URLs which are very useful in terms of understanding mobile device management for Office 365 Cloud. So let's uh, have a look on it like uh, these are the uh, quite simple high level of uh, steps like how to set up, how to you can manage uh, what kind of you know, management tasks you have, other ways to manage with the devices and apps. So now let's have a comparison uh, which we have uh, done earlier with the P within the PPD. The similar things you do have here but these are specific to Office 365 or device uh, MDM uh, MDM specific to. With this you have your uh, general configurations uh, for the Outlook and other Office 365 including OneDrive for Business. Similarly how the enrollment process works and how uh, this is this would be a 10 step uh, uh, configuration where uh, where it checks for the policies and the compliance level and the root uh, or encryption or jailbreak all those uh, settings would be again a uh, close to eight different steps would happen and security settings for example on Android platform or maybe iOS platform uh, whether it is required a password or other security settings encryption jailbroken settings all that you know supported information which is detailedly explained and available in this uh, a web link you can check on this uh, when you have a time and if you are uh, more interested on Office 365 MDM but of course more focus on Intune in fact so we are going to do all these in fact these settings are uh, very similar because all these are also supported in your Intune either standalone or in a co-management uh, uh, settings so we are going to do that uh, so no need to worry about all these things which we need to you know, perform at the office 365 mdm level because that's not the core scope at at the point of time